So August has come and gone. Let's see how many books I sold on Amazon KDP. Taking a quick look back at what my goals were for the month, I wanted to publish five books, I wanted to get 1300 book orders, and the goal was to hit $2,000 in monthly profit the same as last month. The good news is that we published five books, we got a lot of book orders, but I didn't quite hit that $2,000 in profit. Taking a quick look at what I published for the month, I published six books on Amazon, three of them were colouring books for adults, I'm trying to tap into that kind of bold and easy coloring book niche. So two of them were in that niche and one was in another niche. I then created a puzzle book for adults, a puzzle book for kids and an activity book for kids as well. So a good month of creating and publishing books. On YouTube, I publish six videos and I got 56,000 views. If you're new around here, thank you for checking out the video. And make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And then I also have a few other shops like Fiverr and Etsy. Over on Etsy, I got one sale, but due to advertising and fees, I actually made $0 in profit for the month. But going back to how many books I sold in August, I achieved 1,473 book sales. So as you can see from that figure there, I've hit 132 books. It wasn't long ago that I actually was at 100 books. And so that shows that kind of compound effect of keep going, keep creating the books, and eventually that number will go up and up and up. So as you can see from the sales, it's pretty consistent throughout the month. There were a few smaller days, but overall it was pretty consistent throughout the month. In terms of where I sell my books, the majority still come from the United States, but I do have a few UK specific books which sell really well in the UK. And then I'm also getting more sales in Canada now as well. Now, how much did those sales make me on Amazon KDP? I made $3,078. For my Brits out there, that's approximately £2,344. So looking at the graph, it follows the orders basically. So it was pretty consistent throughout the month, a few dips here and there, but yeah, it was very steady. And I do think you can see a very, very gentle rise throughout the month. And we're going for that kind of long-term slow growth up into the Q4 period where I'm hoping for a big spike. So yeah, another good month selling books on Amazon. Taking a quick look at my top performing books, I've blurred these out just because I don't want copycats appearing from my best books. But what I thought was quite useful to look at is when I publish these books and what type of books they are. So the top one there, my best selling book, is now a year old and it's a colouring book for adults. So you get loads of people saying colouring book niches are too saturated. But if you create one book that stands out and sells well, like this one, it makes almost $500 a month, which is absolutely incredible. And that's without any ads as well. Number two on the list this month is a brand new activity book I've released. I'll actually show you what the ad spend for that is later on. But yeah, that started to rank really well organically. It's got some sales through ads and then it's got some sales organically as well. So hopefully that's gonna to stick towards the top of the searches and get long-term results. And the aim for that number two book is it becomes like this one. So this one is a one-year-old activity book for kids and it's been selling consistently every single month. And so this one made a little over $200. That's not that much, but say if you had 20 books that made $200, you're making four grand a month. So yeah, really happy with this and happy that it still sells after a year. I've got a four month old activity book for adults there that's making $160 a month. Another four month old activity book making about the same. And then I've got a nine month old activity book there making a little under $100 a month. So the good thing about that is I'm increasing the amount of books I've got in my portfolio. And then the hope is a good amount of them are gonna to continue to get sales in the long term. That's the way that my income every month is gonna keep growing. So as we went through, I made a little over $3,000 on Amazon KDP, but what about advertising? Now this month isn't for the faint hearted. Let's get into it. So I launched a new pen name this month and I went quite hard on some very broad coloring books. That means that especially in the USA, my ad spend was very high and it didn't represent a good return on ad spend. So there you can see $585 for only 158 orders and that ACOS of almost 40% is way too high. In the UK it's a little bit better, I'm at 26% ACOS, but on a positive for my ads this month, Canada actually returned a very good amount of orders at a very good ACOS. I keep trying to increase my spend very slowly over in Canada and it seems to be working. 
In Australia, the ads continue to not serve very much, so I spent $8 and got two orders. But what might be quite a fun thing to show you as I launch six books this month is an example of what a good launch looks like with Amazon ads versus a bad launch. So on this page, the top one is an example of a good launch and the bottom is an example of a bad launch. The top graph there is the one that's made over $300 for the month and I've spent $150 in ads. As you can see from the launch of that book, the amount of clicks started to rise throughout the month and it's got consistent orders, which is that orange line, all the way throughout the month. And how my ad spend would have worked on that ad is throughout the month, I would have brought the cost per click down gradually to a more affordable cost per click. So that's why the amount of clicks are big there around the middle and then they reduce down a little bit towards the end. You can see that a lot more drastically in the bottom one. So I was getting some clicks at the beginning and then that went down to almost nothing towards the end. The top one was an activity book and the bottom one was a coloring book. And so I think what happened is the bottom one, the, the coloring book was in a too broad and niche. And so the cost per clicks were too high. I wasn't willing to spend over a dollar a click, for example. And there was too much competition. Whereas the top one didn't have quite as much competition. And so I think the book stood out and people wanted to buy it. Diving a little deeper into my ad spending results, I got a lot of clicks for the month. It was almost 3,500. I spent $1,112 on ads and I got 371 orders. So what I think is important to see is I'm not relying on ads. 25% of my orders come through ads and 75% are organic. But those organic sales would be less if I didn't use ads, especially at the beginning, to try and rank them for keywords. So I think it's really good to see that, you know, if I turn my ads off, I'd still get a good amount of sales, but I'm looking at long-term growth here. And so therefore I want to be using ads to get more sales. So I'm getting about 25% of my sales through ads and 75% organically. Coming on to what that means in terms of profit. I had an income of $3,078 a large ad spend of $1,112. I had my expenses of $36, which is just my mid-journey fee for the month. All of my other little subscriptions I'll take off of my yearly, but my monthly expenses is just the mid-journey, which means my take-home profit for the month is $1,930. So I was very, very close to making that $2,000 target, but just not quite there. In terms of British pounds, it's £1,470. So yeah, some positives, some negatives, but it's still a good amount of sales on Amazon KDP and a decent profit. But sometimes it's quite hard to see that you're actually doing well and it is growing. And the best way to actually look at that is to compare it back to last year. So here's my graph for August in 2023. And so you can see my royalties were just under $1,000. And then after ad spend, I actually made $118 in profit last August. And if we go back a slide, we can see that this year, in August, I made $1,900. So that's a huge leap from 118 to 1,900. And the aim is that I'll keep chipping away and over the long term, that income and that profit is gonna rise and rise and rise. Now, I don't know whether that's actually gonna happen. That's my belief of what's gonna happen. But if you wanna find out, you need to stay subscribed to this channel and check out my monthly income reports. But taking a look at my 2024 results so far, you can see that the orders there in blue are rising every month and the profit is rising most months as well. So I'm hoping as we get later in 2024, especially towards that holiday Christmas period, that the orders and the profit are gonna rise substantially. Wrapping up August, I launched a few books in competitive areas. As you saw earlier, some of them are ranking well and selling well, where some of the other ones are just not cutting through. Maybe that means my niche research isn't on point for those broader coloring books. Maybe it means the covers aren't strong enough. I need to do some more research myself and see how I can break through into those areas. Because of that, I overspent on some of my ad launches. That means that my ads weren't that profitable, especially in America. So I need to dial that back a little bit for September. But back onto a positive spin, I used BookBowl a lot this month to create some puzzle pages for my books. It was really, really simple and easy. And if you click a link in the corner now, you can see how to make activity books using BookBolt. And what was quite nice this month was taking a look back at some books I'd published a year ago, you know, a few months ago. And what I found is the highest quality books, so that's both the cover, the niche research, and also very importantly, the interior, the ones that were the best were the ones that were selling the most. 
So that shows you the quality is absolutely key for long-term sales on Amazon KDP. Looking at my goals in September, I want to publish six books again. I'm gonna aim for 1,500 book sales in a month, which is my highest aim ever. And then I just wanna hit that $2,000 profit again, like I did in July. It would also be nice to get some more sales on Etsy as well. So let's see if we can do that in September. Okay, so that's my August wrapped up. Another solid month, some ups, some downs, but overall, again, a very good month of self-publishing on Amazon KDP. It's not long till that Q4 boom, so make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.